It all began here at Frank Clair Stadium, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, home of the CFL Football Ottawa Renegades. As an aspiring football player and a CFL veteran, I'm mindful of the advice a coach once shared with me. He had said, never be an if player. Always leave your best on the field and take advantage of the opportunity at hand. And that's what this demo tape is about. It's about the opportunity. What you're about to see is a showcase of my work as a sports anchor, sports reporter, and sports videographer. You'll see my connection with young athletes, older athletes, professional and amateur. And be mindful, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And if you're a sports fan, Frank Clair Stadium will be the place to be tonight. It's the Auto Renegades sporting a 1-0 record, getting set to host the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in their home opener. Bombers also sporting a record of 1-0. No doubt the Montreal Alouettes bring a lot to the table, an explosive offense led by quarterback Anthony Calvillo, a very strong defense. And now they have what they call the real deal as far as punt returning is concerned. His name is Keith Stokes. He wears number six. He's scored three touchdowns over the last couple of weeks for the Owls on punt returns. And if the Auto Renegades don't know who he is, they better ask somebody in soon. Jazz Festival Sunday, duly noted. Thank you, Arissa. No problem. Coming up in sports, the Ottawa Renegades put their pride on the line this Thursday night in the second half of their home at home set with the BC Lions. Field hockey friendly action from Minto Field also on the sports docket. These NHL news we open up with. Detroit Red Wings captain Steve Eiserman is expected to re-sign with the Red Wings. Announcement could come as early as tomorrow. Pierre Gauthier, a former NHL executive with the Sens and the Mighty Ducks, has been hired as director of pro scouting by the Montreal Canadiens. Well, the final score tonight, 28-4 to for the visiting BC Lions. They earned themselves their fourth straight victory. They're the hottest team on the CFL circuit right now. As far as the Auto Renegades are concerned, it's a case of a lackluster performance from the offense and a defense that was on the field far too long. Well, it's 9.25 a.m. Wednesday morning. The freshman class of the Ottawa Senators, a 2001 Prospects Development Camp. You guys are getting warmed up for the first half of their workouts. They have two workouts today. One, dry land training, the second one on the ice. They're going to take me through their paces, give me a first-hand glance at what it's like to be a young gun trying to make the grade at the Ottawa Senators NHL Hockey Club. and then you gotta try and go on beyond that. But isn't that the difference though between making it and not making yeah, it? Yeah, the, the difference is just so small between guys that play in the NHL and guys that don't. Well, on the ice here at the Canada Rec Center for part two of our time spent with the young guns, the freshman class of the Ottawa Centers as they go through their rookie development camp. In part one, it was all dry land training stuff. Today, on the ice. Skating, skating, and more skating. Do stuff like this, you're just dying. You're giving everything you got. Yeah. It's all in your head. It's all mental. Yeah. But that's what they're here to do. They're test you, though. Mentally They want to take you to that, that edge yeah. Oh, yeah. and see what you do. Do you take a step back or do you take that step forward? Well, it's the calm before the storm out here in Smith Falls where the Summer Salt Series Duathlon Triathlon Series gets set to host the 22nd Annual Smith Falls Classic. This is a great opportunity for athletes to conquer the course or be conquered by the course. Now this story can certainly be about a young man who enjoys the game of golf, a young man who also snowboards, plays tennis, enjoys playing soccer, but the storyline runs awfully deep as far as Kieran Thompson is concerned. It's about a young man who has a heart of gold. It's about a gesture. It's about his need to tee it up and help other kids who face the same circumstances that he faces on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, when I was born, my bladder was outside of my body. How many surgeries? 24. 24. I thought I had a lot with four knee surgeries and two ankle surgeries trying to avoid linebackers. How does it not become a blur for you where you just go, I spent so much time in the hospital, maybe I just, it just seems like every day of your life's been in the hospital. How do you, how do you handle all that? Mm. You just do it? Yeah. It just, it, it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's sometimes painful, but I, I, I can do it. So the Auto Renegades certainly happy with the fact they picked up a big victory on the road against the Hamilton Tie Cats and a couple of freshman faces certainly impressed head coach Joe Pow Pow. But it was a veteran player, linebacker Dave Thomas, who certainly made a statement fresh off a serious injury from last season, a knee injury that kept him out of the final third of the CFL season. Thomas started the middle linebacking spot replacing John Grace and certainly introduced himself with authority.
one of us here is not like the others. It's a great workout for mom. The kids have a great time. I'm just hoping none of these guys happen to make a little mistake all at the same time. The Dovercourt Community Center, 10 o'clock. Be here if your mom wanted to get in shape Tuesday and Thursdays. Come on, gang, let's sneak out of here and go get some popsicles, okay? What was it like today playing football with these guys? These guys? Yeah. To tell you? Yeah, true. It was great. What was great about it? The football players, just seeing them. And number 63. Yep, big the Mike big, Sutherland. With the big pumps. That's crazy. Who are you? Philip. Phil, what do you like? To, do, to be the goalie. And who are you? Sarah. What do you like, Sarah? Mm, scoring goals. Okay, I'll sit down with you. How many games have you played this year? Have you played a lot of games? Yeah. How many games? Um, three or four. Three or four, or maybe 11. Have you won all of them? Yeah. Are you going to win the championship? Yeah. Yeah, the Silver Dragons are going to win the championship. Rob and Sandra, we're just going to hunker down here for a while. Back to you. It's 9.25 a.m. Wednesday morning, the freshman class of the Ottawa Senators, the 2001 Prospects Development Camp. You guys are getting warmed up for the first half of their workouts. They have two workouts today, one dry land training, the second one on the ice. They're going to take me through their paces, give me a first-hand glance at what it's like to be a young gun trying to make the grade at the Ottawa Senators NHL Hockey Club. Very good, very good. Hold. How you feel? One more. Seconds. When finish it? Just finish it. Once the time over, yeah. yeah. It's very hard after 30 seconds, man. Now, have you done anything like this before? No, never. This is the first time since. Yeah, okay, we've done this week. week two times before. Yeah. But I come from Germany, we okay. never do that in Germany. So when you first saw it, what did you yeah. think? Oh my god, what is that for shit? They push you to your limit and then you gotta try and go on beyond that. But isn't that the difference though between making it and not making yeah, it? Yeah, the, the difference is just so small between guys that play in the NHL and guys that don't. Well, on the ice here at the Canada Rec Center for part two of our time spent with the young guns, the freshman class of the Ottawa Centers as they go through their rookie development camp. In part one, it was all dry land training stuff. Today, on the ice. Skating, skating, and more skating. So what's the hardest part, the skating or the dry land stuff where you're constantly lifting and... Oh, well, skating. I think, skating's skating. I think it's combination, combination because yeah. you work out your legs. And you come here to skate and do stuff like this, you're just dying, you're giving everything you got. Yeah. It's all in your head, it's all mental. Yeah. But that's what they're here to do, they're test you though. Mentally They want to take you to that edge yeah. and oh, yeah. see what you do. Do you take a step back or do you take that step forward? So that yeah. body can always do more to your mind less. Yeah. This story can certainly be about a young man who enjoys the game of golf, a young man who also snowboards, plays tennis, enjoys playing soccer. But the storyline runs awfully deep as far as Kieran Thompson is concerned. It's about a young man who has a heart of gold. It's about a gesture. It's about his need to tee it up and help other kids who face the same circumstances that he faces on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, when I was born, my bladder was outside of my body. Yeah. So uh, I've had m many operations to h help f fix it. So now recently, I understand, the Starlight Foundation came to you and offered you an application. So you can do anything you want to do. And what did you do with it with that application? I declined the wish and I, uh, I'm having this golf tournament to raise money for, for the, for the urology, for, for urology in, in the hospital for sick children. I just won't want to give back what, what the hospital g gave to me. And um, uh, uh, I'm not a taker, I'm a giver. He has always amazed us with his strength. Uh, emotionally, he's unbelievable. 
He never cries, never complains. Uh, he leaves the hospital with a smile on his face. We're getting there. How many surgeries? 24. 24. I thought I had a lot with four knee surgeries and two ankle surgeries trying to avoid linebackers. How does it not become a blur for you where you just go, I spent so much time in the hospital, maybe I just, it seems like every day of your life's been in the hospital. How do you, how do you handle all that? Mm. You just do it? Yeah. I just, it, it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's sometimes painful, but I, I can do it. Yeah, the, uh, the challenge is, is there and, and we just, we, we handle it as, as it comes along. Each, each step that has come along with Kieran, we just handle it as it comes. We try not to ponder too much what's going to happen in the future, just deal what's, deal what's in the present. If you had a message to young kids facing a, a circumstance that you face, what would you say to them? There's nothing to worry about. It's all going to be fine. Silver Dragons. Hey, gang, how are you? Yeah. Let's find out who you are. What is your name and what do you like the most about soccer? What's your name first? Uh, my name is Ben. What do you like about soccer, Ben? Uh, getting goals. Very good. What's your name? Safira. What do you like about soccer? Scoring. Very good. Hi, who are you? Graham. What do you like, Graham? Scoring. Ah, and who are you? Me. And what do you like the most, the most about soccer? Throwing in the ball. Throwing the ball, very good. Who are you? I'm Jan. What do you like? Throwing the ball. Okay, front row, duck down a little bit. Actually, we'll sit down. Everybody sit down the front row. Who are you? Philip. Phil, what do you like? To, do, to be the goalie. And who are you? Sarah. What do you like, Sarah? Mm, scoring goals. Okay, I'll sit down with you. How many games have you played this year? Have you played a lot of games? Yeah. How many games? Um, three or four. Three or four, or maybe 11. Have you won all of them? Yeah. Are you going to win the championship? Yeah. Yeah, the Silver Dragons are going to win the championship. Rob and Sandra, we're just going to hunker down here for a while. Back to you.